What's up guys? In this one we have an ANOVA table and it has some entries in order to calculate. So let's begin. So we are said that the audience shares in percentage of three major television networks. So this is one of the factors in four major cities. So we have two factors here. One is networks and the other one is cities. So let's begin. From the table we have, I'll, it's hard to copy this, so I'll just draw this out for you here. We have the source, the row factor is city, so this is the first one. So we have the degrees of freedom here, we have sum of squares, we have mean squares and then you have the F value. So we don't have any values here besides this one, we are told from the beginning that the mean square from this one is 1.95. The factor B, which is a network or columns, same thing. We don't have any entries. And then you have the residual or the error. You don't have any entries as well. And then we have the total. So let's just, just draw this here. So source, let's get this here. And the total. So we are we got this one. I don't have anything else here. I don't have anything else here as well. And here for the sum of squares, we have 51.52. This is what we have. So in order for us to first start doing this, we need to first start, we can do this in different ways, but I like doing this when we have the table, just starting out with the values that you can all already uh, type in. So the factor A, which is cities, we are told that these are four cities and degrees of freedom, you just subtract one. So degrees of freedom for cities is three. And since we have three major television networks and that's factor B, so three minus one, it's two. And since this is a two-way ANOVA, what you do is you multiply three by two and you're gonna get six. And what you do is it's three plus two is five plus six is 11. This is how you, how you calculate this. Now you have this one, so you have these values and you have this one. So you can calculate three, uh, this uh, sum of squares of cities because essentially what you need to do is to multiply 1.95 with three and that will give you the value of 5.85. So these are some values that you already have typed in. You have 585, you have three, two, so you have all these values here. So now we need to find out the remaining values of this. And we know something from, from these types of problems. And since city is the row factor, this means that cities come here. So we have city one, you have city two, you have city three, and you have city four, this is cities. And the column factor, it's networks. And you have how many networks? You have one network, two networks, three networks. So this is your column factor. And pay attention to this. So we are told that the average audience share for the three networks, Notice it's not something like an average for cities, it's for networks. So we are said here that the marginal value for this one, you got this one is 21.35. The second one is 17.28. And the third one is 20.18. So we need to average these three out in order to get a value. So in order to do that, so let's get the value of this. So A, B, and C or one, two, three, as you wish. So it's 21.35 plus 17.28 plus 20.18 divided by three, and it will give you a value of 19.60. So this is your total average value. Now that we have this one, we can now find the entry for this one. And in order for us to do that, remember that the rule, let me just get this out of the way so we can do this calculation. The rule is factor B, which is columns, you're gonna get the rows times the average of the value that you have here so we have like each of the entries, we have 21.35 plus 
minus 19.60 that squared plus 17.28 minus 19.60 squared plus the other one 20.18 minus 19.60 squared and the important part here to notice in order to make not to make mistakes is that since this is factor B which is this one this is always columns and this is always rows and since we need to know the sum of squares for columns you're going to multiply the total amount of rows and you know that because from city the total amount of cities is 4 so the total amount of rows is 4 and all we got to do now is this math and that will equal a value of 35.13. So we know that the total sum of squares for networks is 35.13. So in order for us to find this missing entry, you're going to start with this one and subtract this one and this one. And you're going to get the value of 10.54. And now that we have this one, we're going to get divide with 6. So we're going to get the value of 1.76. And on the same token, we have 35.13 divided by 2. You're going to get 17.57. And in order to find the F value, it's always the same thing. The top one, it's this one divided by this one. So you're going to get 1.11. And this one, it's this one divided by this one. So you're going to get... 9.98 so the typical question that they might ask you is that if they want to see if there is some difference between cities or some difference between networks something like that because you have a value here that we have found and you're going to test it out against the critical value that you find from a table so let's say if they want to know if there is some difference between networks so your null hypothesis if is that there is no difference between networks so no difference and F1 there is a difference between networks just abbreviating this in a bit in order for us to, to keep going so the first step that you need to do is go on to a statistical table and you find from a 5% value, remember that there are some tables from 10 and 2.5 and so on, so you need to find the 5% value. So this is the 5, one, the 5 one, and since this is networks, you're gonna need to find the value for uh, the network. And the specific one is two degrees of freedom with six degrees of error. So it's 5%, two and six. And the value that you will find is 5.14. So what does this mean? So what I do in order to not make mistakes is that I get this value immediately here. So this is your critical value. This is your cutoff value. And we have that 998 is the value that we got from the ANOVA table. So this goes here. So 514 is less than 9.98 because the value that we find is here. And since this is the null region, and this is the one hypothesis, so you're going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is an evidence of a difference between networks.